Tonight, a major step forward in banning TikTok. The House Foreign Affairs Committee tonight approving a bill giving President Biden the power to essentially ban a Chinese-owned app in the U.S. for security reasons. Congressman Mike McCall saying, quote, anyone with TikTok downloaded on their device has given the Communist National Party of China a backdoor to all their personal information. It's a spy balloon in their phone. This comes as the Chinese President Xi Jinping rolls out the red carpet for one of Putin's closest allies, a country who helped set the stage for Russia's invasion of Ukraine and has provided safe harbor and supply. Will Ripley is out front. From one strong man to another, a lavish state visit in Beijing for the man many call Europe's last dictator, Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko, meeting behind closed doors with Chinese President Xi Jinping, two close allies of Russian President Vladimir Putin, China and Belarus, bolstering autocratic support for Putin for Moscow, despite Russia's unprovoked war on Ukraine. Beijing's lasting the U.S. last week for what China calls external interference in Belarus's internal affairs and illegal unilateral sanctions against the country for supporting Putin's war. Before Beijing rolled out the red carpet, Lukashenko praised China's progress. Today, not a single issue in the world can be resolved without China. On the surface, they seem like unlikely allies. China's economy dwarfs that of Belarus. China's population, about 150 times bigger. But Belarus straddles a strategic hotspot, bordering both Ukraine and Russia. Last year, Lukashenko allowed Putin's army to invade Ukraine through his territory. Belarusian and Russian troops expanded joint combat drills in January. Casting doubt on Lukashenko's claim, he won't send his soldiers into battle unless Ukraine attacks first. Tanks and trenches bolster Ukraine's northern border with Belarus. I traveled there in December. Troops train with World War I-style tactics, constantly preparing for potential Russian attacks. We are not afraid of them, says the captain, Dmitry. China's deepening ties with Putin's allies puts further strain on its U.S. relationship. Tensions rising more this week. Top U.S. officials accusing China of a plot to possibly send weapons to Russia, warning against what the U.S. calls lethal support. We did very clearly warn China about the uh, implications and consequences of going through with uh, providing such support. This is a red line that both the U.S. and many other Western countries and the EU itself have drawn for China and, and, and told China directly not to cross it. China denies planning to arm Russia, positioning itself as a potential peacekeeper, publishing a 12-point document without calling Putin's war an invasion, now entering its second 